Anyways, um, um, they lost the virgin to hope guard it. Oh, wow, um, so wow, so you became a part of a group and then all of a of YouTube welcome to another DBS exclusive so as promised I've been you know continuing in my conversations with you know different friends who just so happen to be youtubers now last week I um, talked to Pong the prankster I know Medea with the brother himself Mr. Yardman Ethan big up yourself for finally yo blessings you know you know so I'm gonna jump on one plane yeah reach back at Jamaica just for the interview oh, yeah. stop 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 there. you come no near for come do the business and yeah. it just so end up happen for big the interview and you're there how you mean people have been known as the boy Yardman Ethan I am here again with another video all right right Yardman how are you how is things um things good enough mm -hmm. as I said my love come back at Jamaica every mm -hmm. time um mm -hmm. Every time I come back to Jamaica, I feel rejuvenated. I mm -hmm. feel like recharged. Mm -hmm. You know, my creative juices flow. You know. They so, asked me a question a while ago. Like, so, so like I just want extra little thing you get when you come to Jamaica. Like, you know, the DM's been popping. I, 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 okay, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about that. We'll talk about that later. But in the meantime, um, yeah. who. Who is Yardman Ethan? Simple as that. Who is Yard? You, mm -hmm. you mean like you want to know like my government name? Or yes, all of that. Who are you? Define uh, yourself. Mm -hmm. Define myself. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, for those who don't know, my name is Ethan mm -hmm. Campbell Reed. Mm -hmm. My parents couldn't decide, you know, when they're not giving the last name, so I say, all right, they gave it to them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, um, I am a YouTuber originally from Kingston, Jamaica. Mm -hmm. Uh, I recently, my, I not recently, I migrated to the United States mm -hmm. in 2014 mm -hmm. and um, I always had a love and passion for, you know, content creation mm -hmm. from high school so mm -hmm. I, you know, I started on Instagram first and then I yeah. transitioned over to YouTube mm -hmm. and then, yeah, I am that extra youth on YouTube okay, that, that, that love his culture, love his yeah. country mm -hmm. and feel like I just want to you know, even mm. if it's forced my way and mm. it's my name into, you know, Jamaican content mm. creation history some way somehow. Yeah. So first thing is, um, on my mind, you mentioned high school. Which high school was this? I don't know. Say, Star Den High School. Me go. <sighs> is it me? I say Star Den. Why them call it Star Den? Them call it Star Den because Arden just has a reputation, an uncanny reputation of just spitting out stars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You Let know. it be noted that I was actually supposed to attend Arden High School. But um, In the when tough crackers. I went to Excelsior, THE Excelsior yeah. High School yeah. and um, there was a moment when I was in 7th grade and my father did try to get me a transfer because mm -hmm. I had some family members mm -hmm. uh, by the name of Barry but when my father tried to carry me to Arden, my friends at Excelsior they right. start ball and say No, I don't want them going, I want them to stay at Excelsior So I could have been a part, a part of Arden's um, um, rich history yeah, true. You know, I could have literally been the next Alkaline <laughs> <laughs> you, <know? laughs> you never know so what kind of student were you at at at, at Arden High? Why? Oh Come on, like a birdie tell me, you know. You never did, you know. And the cool, cool kids, them, kinda, you know, you're the kind of, you know, you're the kind of little nerdy. Oh, and them little shirt, but I'm little links, them man. Me and coffee top on WhatsApp. <laughs> <laughs> um, mm. I was that, uh, I was that nerd mm. that used to play like, you know, Yu-Gi-Oh card. Yeah, you know, I mean, I did have a little thing where you know, we did you know, try run tracks one time. In the oh yeah, try, yeah, try get some little cool points. Say they run tracks, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah okay, yeah, yeah. you know, I. I really so before you were running, um, before you were running, um, tracks. Yeah. Okay, which, which, which was uh, hundred meter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you know, okay. we both that uh, oh. actually like inspired our generation. Yeah, yeah and we all know Arden Haifa producing world top notch um track athletes. <laughs> <laughs> Listen up. <laughs> no, you thought it was cool, tough crack and try. I thought it was only fair. All right, all right, I thought it was right, only fair. You would know one day. You would know one day. Yeah, I was, I was just that you that never had high self esteem. Mm. I was very shy. I was mm. reserved. I was very introverted. Yeah. Right. I mm. 
couldn't answer a question in front of a classroom. Oh, that kind of kid. That uh -huh. kind of, yeah. Like that probably knew the answer, but always scared for trying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like because like at that time in life, mm. I cared too much about other people's opinions. Mm. I mean, I wasn't the type of person to try to force myself in a cool, in a cool kids mm -hmm. section, mm -hmm. but. I never really did business, but for them opinion, but at the same time, it's like, I never did want like, the center of attention. Yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. But when I saw some of my other class, um, schoolmates, mm -hmm. you know, in front of the school, you know, doing speeches or performing, you know, so I can end up performing. Mm. Oh, you were in um, at, at Arden around the same time when Alkaline was there? Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh. Right. Mm. So, um, you know, seeing that level of charisma, seeing, you know, mm -hmm. the drama kids. Mm -hmm. I, 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 there was a time where I felt like I wanted to do things like that, but I was like, I made it too free. Yeah. yeah. I had a similar thing in terms of being boxed in, like, you yeah. know, it's a geeky dark. Well, yeah, I try and do, I try and be one of them extroverted people. Yeah, like, you know, right. Them people have right. them things are from basic school, and, like, and, yeah. Right. And then mm -hmm. people are going to uh, try to box you mm -hmm. in a certain category. And yes. if you try to get out of that box, it's like people yeah. are gonna want to take you back and like yo 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 know your place. Mm -hmm. Alright, so let me just test your nerd skills. Um, um, what is a manga? A, a manga. A manga is a mango. Um, manga. Manga. Oh, M A N G A. Oh, manga. It's manga. Okay, I just tested. I just right. tested. What Bulbasaur evolved into? Um, Ivysaur. And then what Ivysaur evolved into? A Venusaur. But right you evolve into? Right you doesn't evolve. Hmm. Well, slow po slow pole evolves into slow pole. Slow slow poke. Spoke. Slow poke. It has two evolutions. Ha! Okay. It can either go into a slow bro or a mm. slow king. Oh wow. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Mm. I think that is all for like a lot of Pokemon trivia. Oh <laughs> boy. So my so guilty <laughs> pleasures. <laughs> my work. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, when did Yardman come into come in, come into being? Did, did it happen in high school in terms of where you started to become more of the extrovert and kind of find your edge and your vibe? All right. So there were two major point um mm -hmm. points into my personality transformation. I would yeah. say. Um, the I would say the seed was first planted. Um, in grade ten. Mm. Um. Like grade 10 year around six, about 16, 17, I think that is. And 16, like when you're in grade 10, you're around 16. Oh, that's, a, that's, a that's when you're in grade 10, right? I think in ninth grade, you're like 15. 15 yeah, oh, yeah, 15, yeah. yeah. Going to 16. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, my bridging. Yo, Chris, my bridging. Chris Anthony Pinnock. Big up yourself in the dark. You see me? Um, Chris was at, um, one of the funniest people I know, right? Mm -hmm. And, um, Chris was one of those extra people mm -hmm. in a high school and he started a comedy group in Arden called No Forward. No Forward? No Forward. Because okay. what happened was yeah. when we tell a joke, mm -hmm. it's like we tell a joke and people don't want to laugh at the joke, but it's like they want to fight the laugh. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. While yeah, they want to yeah. fight the laugh, mm -hmm. they say, yo, no, no mm -hmm. forward. And then we got that so much, mm -hmm. we're like, how are you in this? No yeah. Forward. You see me? So, um, we started no forward, we had like mm -hmm. a Facebook page because you know Facebook at the time was like the mm -hmm. only social media yeah. that mattered. You know, mm -hmm. and um, we I mean we 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 had like a buzz in the corporate area. Yeah. You know, um, people I remember one time two years after I left Arden I yo, you didn't know that mark somebody, mm -hmm. yo, you didn't know about no forward dog. Mm -hmm. I went to high school in Kingston, of yeah. course we know no yeah, forward. Yeah. Wait, yeah. but but actually fast, so it was at this point you now you started to I guess like move away from just the soul geek type of status mm -hmm. and now take on a more where people and everybody all the different guys, yeah. them and girls it was, it start filling video. Right. So I paid around them time the your broke your dogs. No. Wait. Wait, the wait, wait, are, oh, wait, yeah man, yes. I wrote it. I was hey. six. I wrote it and it was a lot of virgin thing. What? Oh wow. Somebody said hope gardens. Wait, Sorry, what? I wait, what? <laughs> wait, what? Anyways, wait, um, what? lost the virgin at hope gardens? Oh, wow, um, oh, you mean he meant jokes like, mm -hmm. um, at the time, this joke was a lot more funny. I would say, um, why was my father's hands dirty? Because him did a uh, clean the gully, because him touched the road. Oh, <laughs> that's all like a dad joke, <laughs> and that's where the inspiration of the Jamaican dad jokes came yeah, from. Yeah. What did the baker bathe with? Cake soap. Oh. 
you see me? Yeah, yeah, them type of joke that we are coming. You see me? Um, <laughs> 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 um yeah, I, I, them type of joke. Mm -hmm. um, you know that that was not for words, bread and butter. Yeah. So you it know? was that group and that um, I guess that that friendship and stuff that you you, you got a different energy. Yeah. And you were able to it, it, I guess you know what? branch out and you know make more friends and and gain some level of popularity. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. but I never really did too care about mm -hmm. like the pop, the, 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 the attention of the, the mm -hmm. cool people them. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But it was my moment when I started. Uh, it was that it was to the initial yeah, place. To, find, to find myself in yeah. my place. That was mm -hmm. the initial moment where um, I started slowly mm -hmm. stepping out of mm -hmm. that introverted box. Mm -hmm. So while while we were at school, um, mm -hmm. talk to me briefly about like family and their expectations, like. You're going to school to, I guess, what do you think? Like to be a doctor, a lawyer, a teacher? Like, cause me, yeah, tell me about this, this, this well, nerd thing. Mommy, and yeah, yeah, no forward. That no sound like it. It match up like. Um, mm. Well, mommy worked in the Ministry of Health at the time, mm -hmm. so yeah, oh, well, there, were, there were certain, you know, expectations. Oh, oh yeah. You know, mm -hmm. you know me, I got hard in. Mm -hmm. um, it was expected that I do the sciences. Mm -hmm. You know, you're learning um, your period, your periodic table. Learning your periodic table. Okay, and you know, let me see. Let me try. One, two, three. Hydrogen, helium, lithium, beryllium, boron, car carbon. Yeah. Nitrogen. Nitrogen. Oxygen. oxygen. No, listen. After the after the like uh, um, fluorine, neon. After the one of them. Sodium, um, magnesium. Them, them, what you call them? Them sound bites. There. Oh, okay. Is it mean like yeah? Uh, which one of the electronic confuse? Anyway, but now I'm gonna them geeks in there. All right. Yeah. <laughs> There was a certain level, there was, mm -hmm. there was a certain level of expectation of me. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I there was a point in time where I felt like, yo, if I'm not a doctor, lawyer, or mm -hmm. politician, mm -hmm. my parents would be proud of me. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I remember one time in high school, I started developing like an interest in even psychology, and I told mm -hmm. my mom that, yo, when I, if I ever go to college, I want to study that. My mom was like, no, you're not get to work. Yeah, I was like, yeah. Mom? Yeah. What? But I think it actually gets some forward um, on that um, no. on that, on that choice because mm -hmm. so it's not like you just say you don't so, want to be a DJ. So now imagine no, mm -hmm. you know, having a, a, a online presence, mm -hmm. you know, with parents who don't under, especially with social media being a new thing at the time, mm -hmm. you know, um, the damn time they were really burning up road. Um, Dontainment. Oh yeah, Dontainment, yeah, I remember that. Um, mm -hmm. Travis did most during that time. Yes, mm -hmm. you know, so like you know, we we were creating memes mm -hmm. before memes even got the name memes. Yeah, we well, met joke bow Jamaican governance. Mm -hmm. so I met joke bow Porsche. We met. And so did your family at the time know of your involvement in this group in like no forward and doing all this? And of so course, of course. Is it something that you got any sort of support with, or, or did they just? Of course not. There's no support. Yeah. Yeah. Did they even think that you were serious about it or was just like, oh, you know, you just have those sort of good gimmicks? I so. mean, they, they probably thought it was like a phase and, mm -hmm. some, and some of the jokes they didn't even want me doing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, some of the stuff they didn't, they're like, yo, okay, mm -hmm. things you're putting on the internet, yeah. you know, anything you put on the internet will always remain there and you know, worrying yeah. about, you know, potentially getting job and this and that in the yeah. future. Because I still saw you fitting into a sort of corporate space and right. um, doing the whole of that. Yo, yo, you don't know, it's your boy Yardman Ethan. And today, I am going to show you guys how I moisturize my dreadlocks. You see, I love my dreadlocks and I can't make them get too dry. People know you for your videos, yes, yeah. but they also know you for, I guess, your signature locks. Um, and because they never fly out of the womb yeah. with uh, with these locks. Like, yeah. And if you look well, I'm going to show you some of Yardman's high school pictures right now. <laughs> of um, Yardman Ethan before the locks. And so I'm just going to just quickly <laughs> play a little montage. <laughs> so we'll see you after these images. Well, what do you have to say for yourself, Yardman? <laughs> um, everybody in Jamaica knows say we get when, a nerd, we get you. Mm, but understand when they say it, they get both the nerd. Make like, it, man. Everybody, yeah, look like one preacher son. Everybody in Jamaica knows say mm -hmm. when you're in high school, mm -hmm. unless you're a rasta, yeah, or unless you're a girl. Really, mm -hmm. truly, is, is, is a boy who really feel it. And I mean, even though girls do have regulations depending on the school where they go to. Yes. Um, you really don't have freedom to do whatever you want to do with the hair until after high school. Yeah. You know, I. 
But part, part of me knew mm -hmm. I was meant to end up with locks, I just didn't know when. Mm -hmm. And how I knew, mm -hmm. my mother had locks. Oh, okay. Yeah, so my mother yeah. had locks and I loved the, the look mm -hmm. of her hair. I loved how healthy and full it looked. Mm -hmm. And I mean, it's my mother, so it's like half of me. Mm -hmm. So I had like half a mirror, half a template to kind of, yeah. okay, I can, okay, all right. You know? Mm -hmm. So. so and then you just start growing it from then, so like whole, whole Actually no, I stopped cutting my hair October 2015 mm -hmm. 2015, in October I stopped cutting yeah. my hair And I was doing some other stuff with my hair, uh -huh. I had like a, like a curling gel mm -hmm. And I stopped combing my hair mm -hmm. and then like my hair will look mm -hmm. well curly and thing It was like a natural like aloe vera type of gel mm -hmm. And people swear it was a jerk curl, mm -hmm. it really wasn't And um, just the hair didn't yeah. look well curly and thing and then in a February 2016, yeah, I go to my mother and say, "Yo, lock me up." Wait, what? <laughs> okay. I told oh, I told okay. my mom that yeah. um, yo, uh, I want locks. Mm -hmm. I told my mother in February 2016, I want locks, and she was like, "Are you sure?" Yeah. But that, you know, the reason there's a there's also a different reason why I have it mm -hmm. as well. It's not it wasn't just like a fashion thing. Tell me. Um. First thing, I do have respect for what Rastafari has done for Jamaica. I was about to ask you that. Um, mm. Before anybody asks if I you know, want to be recognized as a Rasta man. I, I am not a Rasta man. Mm -hmm. I grew up very Seventh-day Adventist. Mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. I don't fire upon oh. pork. Oh, AYN, hey, well, let me Is put it something it? there. Yes. Okay. Fire upon pork. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. But yeah, got some upon street corner and I'm jerk chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you see me? Fire yeah. upon pork, but yeah, the jerk yeah. chicken and the goat and all them things. Yeah, we'll see. We'll, we'll see how I can deal with a box of KFC. <laughs> oh, gosh. Yeah, man. Um, mm -hmm. So I grew up very Adventist, mm -hmm. um, but I do have respect for what Rastafari has done for the culture of Jamaica. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And you know, the culture of Jamaica has in turn influenced my branding. Mm -hmm, you understand? Mm -hmm. Um, without Rastafari, there would, you know, there's a reason why Jamaica is the most popular mm -hmm. country in the Caribbean. Mm -hmm. Point blank, mm -hmm. period. You know. So, do you think it's because um, of this, um, you sporting the locks, is, um, it, it has somehow influenced your decision to, I guess, call yourself Yardman? Actually, no. To the, tap into that Jamaican is? The, the Yardman name came before the locks. Mm. It came. Oh, yeah. It was I was I went to a Caribbean club in Atlanta, mm. right? Oh boy, did I travel? <laughs> <laughs> this is after I moved. Oh okay, yeah, yeah. Um, went to a Caribbean club in Atlanta. It was mm. sometime in 2015 actually, mm -hmm. where I um, I was going home mm -hmm. from the club, and one Rasta man out there jerk chicken, mm -hmm. right? I made a whole of reason with the Rasta, and then I was leaving, and then while I was leaving, the Rasta healed me. But how the Rasta hailed me and said, Yo, Yardman, big up yourself. Yeah. Remember, I said it was a Caribbean club. Yes. So it's not everybody there is a Jamaican. Yes. So me and him, as Jamaicans, will not have a reason. And yeah. then when I was leaving, I said, Yo, Yardman, big up yourself. Mm -hmm. I was like, Huh, that kind of have a thing to it. So you just you heard that name and like, eh. And this was before you op um, created a YouTube channel? Yes. Wow. Yes. Wow, similar here. We never got to here before. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. So, okay. Um, and of course, this was during the time when I already became a lot more extroverted mm -hmm, because mm -hmm. the, the 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 full broke out happened after I left Jamaica. Mm -hmm. Konnichiwa. My name is Yadimoto. Um. As I said, my mother used to have lots, mm -hmm. and um, my mother got very ill mm -hmm. in. Um, 2014, mm -hmm. when I left Jamaica. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, um, mental illness, which is why you know I take mental health very serious. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like even around my friends, I take mental health very serious. Yeah. So I make sure that my friends are in a good place. Yeah. And I understand myself and I know my triggers. And my mother got very ill. Uh huh. And she got to a point where she could not maintain her locks anymore. She had to cut it off. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. <sighs> sorry, just kind of. Mm -hmm. Rough talking about this because mm -hmm. you know seeing my mother in a seeing my mother in a go from such a healthy state of mind to you know not being able to mm -hmm. do certain things really 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 shape me up. Mm -hmm. So the decision that I that I um, took to to support the look mm -hmm. to have her started was 
I told her one day, yo, yo, if you can't have it, then. So it, 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 it's your way of kind of um, paying some sort of tribute or honoring um, her her role in your life and stuff. I honestly never know that. I don't think you you um, ever sh shared that part of it. Yeah, I appreciate, <laughs> I appreciate that. You actually share that. Yeah, yeah, I really appreciate that you share that. So that's mm -hmm. one of the major reasons. That's one of the major reasons. Mm -hmm. right? Which is why, as I said, she's the one who I, I wanted her, never the one, nobody else. Mm -hmm. I wanted you to do it. Mm -hmm. She did the same thing with my brother. Mm -hmm. My brother have locks for him. <laughs> my brother look like a bubble dread more while, isn't it? But yeah, she, she was the one who started um, his. Mm -hmm. But yeah, um, that was uh, that's, mm -hmm. uh, that's the story behind the hair. And you know, every time mm -hmm. I remember when she was starting it, she was saying, Yo, you sure you want to do this? Cause you know, Having locks in a Jamaican household is mm -hmm. like basically saying, Yo, I want a tattoo. Yeah. You, you get me? So, um, when she was doing it, it's like, You sure you want to do this? Your hair is mm -hmm. so nice already, you know, it's not too late. Mm -hmm. You can go cut it off after. And I said, mm -hmm. Come here, I want it. Or is the situation in Mata um, any you know, better? Has it improved in the moment? It's, it's, What's the relationship it, with you guys now? It's stable. Mm -hmm. um, she and I had a rocky history. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, you know my stories about you know how how I'm gonna deal with crosses woman more or while. Yeah, you know? I, I know the story. Yeah. Yeah, my mom. Yeah, I didn't even want to get into that. Yeah. Too, but mm -hmm. um, uh, it was just at a moment of reconciliation with my mother, mm -hmm. and um, you know, just realizing what's important in life. Mm -hmm. You know, just having that, but still maintaining a connection with her. You know, mm -hmm. because at the end of the day, I can't I can't deny like. The, the things that she has done for me, mm -hmm. you know, me no for cook because of my mother, mm -hmm. half because of my mother, <laughs> yeah, um, and a lot of things I know and appreciate because of my mother, mm -hmm. you know. So yeah. yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad that um, things are better in the town and you know, yeah. at a definitely better place than, than in 2014. Right. Um, so no more for jumping to you there at, at, at Atlanta now. Mm -hmm. When did it occur? Well, to I was you? in Atlanta. Yeah, in yeah. Atlanta now. So when mm -hmm. did it occur to you now, say? But if you saw on YouTube channel, like why? Actually, I started Instagram first. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. So I've always wanted to start the Instagram. Yeah. And what happened was after I migrated to the states, mm -hmm. I was the one. I so more about like I feel like I was like the heart of No Forward. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I see Chris as like the brains of the operation. Mm -hmm. I was at the heart. I was like, guys, this is potential. Yeah, really passionate. This this saw like, I value. saw, mm -hmm. I saw the value mm -hmm. before people even saw the value in social media. Yeah, I was like, yo, this is potential. Yeah, we can't like in years from now, mm -hmm. we can run this place, yo. Like mm -hmm. that's how I was just meant in it. But like everybody, especially after I migrated and mm -hmm. you know, split up physically. Mm -hmm. It, it, it kind of died down because a lot of our great ideas came when mm -hmm. we were racing together mm -hmm. in person mm -hmm. you know when I left all I had was whatsapp to stay connected and I was saying and it, it got to a point where I was the sole per person behind trying to keep the forward alive and it got to a point where I was like branding mm -hmm. the forward is a brand that works in Jamaica yes because we understand the slam but I'm in America, what do I do? Do I start something for myself? Mm. By myself? And being responsible for my own autonomy, mm -hmm. you know? So that's where the whole, I need a name. Mm -hmm. Boom bam, talk to Rasta man, yo yard man, big up yourself. So you say, all right, keep All yeah. right, I have that, mm -hmm. yard man, okay. Um, it's funny, Yadman wasn't even the original name I was going to go with. My mother had a problem with the first one. What was the first one? So on WhatsApp, all my bridging used to call me a wild man. Because oh, wild just, man. Yeah. Okay. So all my bridging name was just like. Yeah. Some of the things I was saying was just kind of savage. Like, yo, dog, you're yeah. wild in a dog. Yeah, yeah. me? And then it. And then. Wild man Ethan. And then <laughs> my mother was like, eh, eh. Yeah. And then I was like, all right. My <laughs> mother would have been definitely not like. <laughs> So um yeah, and plus with, with the whole Yardman thing I felt more comfortable with mm -hmm. because at first I even spoke it with an R mm -hmm. at first. Oof. Oof. Mm. Oof. Yeah man. Branding. That nature routine. Yeah man. Yes. <laughs> so when I went to America, mm -hmm. um, a lot of people expected me to become Americanized. Mm -hmm. A lot of people expected me to twang out to become very American. The opposite happened. They 
my auntie looked at me one day and was like, even you. My auntie made a bet, you know. My auntie said that I was going to become an Americanizer. Mm-hmm. said. And one day I came home and my auntie was like, Ethan, you, 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 met, a, you met some Jamaicans. Well, you know, auntie, your, your patwa is stronger than when you first came here. And I was like, oh, really? Right. You know? Yeah, I had the same criticism too as well. I was like, this is ridiculous. Yes, you're over there far too long for your patwa to be as, um, <laughs> as strong. Yeah, as it is by no me expect you know like more nah, more man nah, 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 what's nah, deal nah, you man nah, oh the fascisi man easy oh man you don't know this is your boy yard man and you're watching my youtube channel make sure you like you co- okay oh that's an echo <laughs> we're not no all right yeah, <laughs> no, no, no 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 that did, that did not happen um, say so definitely didn't want to and I can imagine I did. you're over there you know so you, so you realize that a lot of the things that make you very special yes. and stand out is yes. that jamaican yes. so you can't and afford it, for it to it, dilute exactly mm-hmm. and it became a thing where like a lot of the things I took for granted mm-hmm. dance hall music mm. the culture mm-hmm. the wildest the, the wildest behavior the people just news just, things about, just, just just things about Jamaica mm-hmm. I, a lot of things I took for granted and I miss simple things like walking through half a tree yes. and just hearing the hear a load of man's voice like, half a tree, half a tree. Yeah. Like, things like that just mm-hmm. I was like, I okay, can't lose this. Yes. You know, so like um that was the thing that forced me out of being an introvert. Mm-hmm. Me I go a club and no know how for wine girl and the girl in my group and I laugh half a week and I don't know how to wine them. Mm-hmm. Is it me I say? And I'm like, no, no, I'm going to get better. Mm-hmm. Is it me I say? And then I probably go up on YouTube. Wait, you mean you went on YouTube to, to learn how to... Um... No, dance, not wine. Oh, so you did, that, that was in it. You already have a 30. Cause, no, yeah. I, I just had to practice. And, oh, know, okay. So you go YouTube and I learn. Okay. Well, no, no, not whining. You know, like, okay. you know, dancing and something. But it's still worse. You have to dog out. You have to learn how to dog. Say, they're watching like Marvin the Beast video. They went in my trunk off a speaker box for no of I've had a couple. I wouldn't say Marvin the Beast moments, but I've, a couple, I've, a, I've, a, I've a, had a couple good moments we That's were at the party together before we didn't know you i was gonna mention briefly we were at the party together before before i knew him i went to i think it was um pulse mvp fridays and spice was there she was the the the, 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 the guest performer and she was there and she had gone with her things and she invited about three men for come on stage for come you know move with her dancers them and at what point in time she you know this man volunteered himself and run gone up on the stage and rebel Proceeded to um, let me just show you the video, yeah, man. It was at this moment he knew he fed up. <laughs> so, this was after you did your, your learning and your, your, your training. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This the, was, the thing is, I must you never say, prepare, you never do the tutorial. No, no, the thing is, I was very drunk. All right, okay, in, my, in, my, in, my, in my defense. Wow. And at the time, the spice dancers were doing a move where they were sweeping your foot and pushing So, you never research and know no, what no, no. Mm-hmm. I was ready for the sweep leg thing. Mm-hmm. But when Rebel picked me up, I was like, okay, Jesus okay. Me damn. <laughs> but the thing is, going back to when I started, mm-hmm. it's funny because I was a stage jumper. Mm-hmm. The, let me tell you what really, and this is ironic. Mm-hmm. I went to my first carnival was Atlanta the Cab Carnival mm-hmm. in 2015, mm-hmm. and who was on stage? Destra Garcia. Oh yes. Right. Oh Destra. And there was absolute no liquor in my system. Mm-hmm. And um, this one Belizean guy jumped the stage, and then Destra is like, you know what? I want more Caribbean man on the stage. And me with my big old Jamaican father, my mama pick me. Your what? M- mama see me right here, so mm, yeah, pick yeah. me. Yeah, yeah. Because he pick me on stage. And then, like, this was before Instagram, this was before, you know, I decided to. So, no, the, the, the other one, yeah. This has a picture. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, okay. She okay. Have, she have that one picture, mm-hmm. and sometimes just go back to it. Mm-hmm. And um, this was when the locks just start. Locks are like little tiny in my head, is Yeah, they are serious, serious times, drip shine locks. Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, man. These are yeah, some, man. you know, just yeah, like, yeah. these were yeah, some really serious just have one yeah, little chick. <laughs> and um, that one picture, I didn't even know a picture was taken. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I did this for the love of the culture, mm-hmm. not yeah. just Jamaican culture, Caribbean culture. You know, after that moment, mm-hmm. I bridge in. The next day, after mm-hmm. Carnival, sent me a screenshot mm-hmm. on Destra's Instagram. The dog. And then when I saw that picture, I was like, Yeah, man, I have to start Instagram. 
Yo. Now I'm start this again. Yeah. That was when <laughs> I decided. You get one forward from this try, it was like. Alright, oh, yeah, 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 man, yeah, time. Man. time. Okay. <laughs> yeah, man. That's the weirdest inspiration and motivation. Yep. Just like, yo, all right, yo, man, I hate this. Never must be a star now. If we dip on this strap page, I hate this, but I'm a boss. Yeah. So it was the first video, um, that the first content that you created for Insta for IG. It can't, it can't be shoving inside your man for remember. The first video I ever did mm -hmm. was very cringy. Oh, what was it about? Very cringe. What was it? It's actually not on my Instagram at all. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, what was it about? I think your it's not yeah. archived, it's deleted. Mm -hmm. I think it was um, a video about the type of men that Jamaican women like. Okay. You know? Sounds easy and simple. You know, approach her, you know, all nice, sweet and thing, and then she looked by and said, you know, she don't want that. And mm -hmm. then, you know, you come back around and spit. At the time, Alkaline and have some dirty lyrics, are, you know. And we use like one of alkaline song them and just kinda you know mm -hmm. rough her up and be things and then just mm -hmm. went up after that. You know, so that was the first video I ever, you know. Yeah. And then you continue putting out other videos for, for Instagram. I remember a particular thing I came across one where he did a Rasta thing with the hair um as like some pubic hair um thing. So that, that was is... so that was a joke from high school. Yeah. So I don't know why I had this weird joke in high school. I was mm -hmm. like, if you could have style your hair. Like, how you that style it? I and mean, we always make the joke, I mean, I say, yo, I mean, I. We don't make locks, you know? Is it me? <laughs> is it me? So, like, I had, um, I had some, some fake dreadlocks. Yeah. That I had, um, a, lo a long time ago, up a foreign, mm -hmm. that I did for a skit at one time for, mm -hmm. um, for something. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, I was looking more the place, and I was like, yo, that's a prop. And then I was like, wait there. Just fling it in my pants, mm -hmm. throw up the zipper, and that. Yeah. Is it me? And then I was like, let me just make like a one little video about this, you know? Yeah, I think that video is still on your page. Probably. On your Instagram, yeah. Probably is. So, when did you know, you're doing the Instagram content, when did you then decide to make the transition to Big Bad YouTube? So, well, that is it for part one of my interview with Yardman Eaton. We spoke for over an hour, so I couldn't post it here. So I'll post the remainder of the interview next Sunday. That's part two. I'm here. So much no. to the point where I feel like you're probably afraid to go by Jada Kingdom page. So if Jada didn't show up in our in our music video, would you feel as if such a do our next music?